We move on to the 19th question. It is about rotations. Before we begin this question, let us look into some of the formulas which will make these problems very easy. So these are all counterclockwise. Now, if you have realized, how do we measure an angle in the protracted? We usually use this direction, right? So if it's 90 degrees, we don't go clockwise, we go counterclockwise. So it'll be this is 90 degree from year to year. Right, so all these are about the origin counterclockwise. Okay, so 90 degree. Now, these are very important formulas. Now, imagine you have 4, 3 as the coordinates x and y, and you're rotating this point about 90 degrees. What happens is from the origin, okay, now over here, so there is a point over here from the origin, you're rotating 90 degrees, then. All you need to swap is if it's 90 degree counterclockwise like this, right? This point will be somewhere over here, isn't it? Now this is 4, 3. It's not exactly 4, 3, but just imagine it's 4, 3. So it is going to be, sorry, not x. It is minus y. First will be minus y comma x. That means whatever the y over here will come over here and become minus and the x over here. So is it here? Yes, it's minus 3. If this is uh, 4 around minus 3, and the value will be 4 yes around that point that's how we can get it now say for example i have 5 comma 6 and i want to rotate it along 270 degrees then it's gonna be this 6 is gonna be over here but 5 will be negative 5 so this is how we solve it now if you know these formulas it's very easy remember for 90 degrees you swap x and y see y becomes x x becomes y even for 270 and for 90, first y is negative over here, second that is x is negative. Whereas 180 is so simple, you just put minus signs both the sides. What about 360 degrees? Now I have a line like this, I want to rotate it 360 degrees. It will be the original position itself, right? It will not change. So that will be the original itself. So let's look into this problem now. Here they have told 270 degrees clockwise. This is the first thing that you need to see. Then we will so uh, solve the others. So we cannot use clockwise. We have to do counterclockwise. We will do it in a while. But first, the coordinate of a point. Let's just draw a simple graph. Let me draw it straight. Okay. It's 4, 7. This is 4. And minus 7 somewhere over here. Let me take this as the point Q. It's mentioned. And now you're not rotating it about the origin. But the formulas which you know is all about the origin. But here it is at 5 and 1. So imagine this is 1. So about this point we are rotating. And we need to find the coordinate after it's rotated 270 degrees clockwise. Now one thing, let me just sort this out. 270 degree clockwise means from here it's coming till over here, right? What is it? counterclockwise it's 90 degrees so just subtract it by 360 you get the answer so this is same as 90 degree counterclockwise clockwise so what we do is we use the formula of 90 degrees which we just now saw so that is x comma y becomes it'll be y but first is negative comma x so this is the answer now here, before we start, the step one is rectifying this given point towards the origin. What I mean is, see, this is about this point phi and, oh, phi and 1, right? Let's get back to the origin. How much far away is it from the origin? Minus 1 and minus 5, isn't it? So what we do is, to the given point Q, we add this minus 1 and minus 5 x-axis first x is minus 5 and y is minus 1 but in simple way to remember look at the uh, given point where it's rotated just change the signs of this point if it was say phi and minus 1 it would be minus 5 plus 1 but now both are positive so both will be negative and add it to this point from 4 to minus 7 it becomes 4 minus 5 and minus 7 minus 1 this is the point now the point q is equal to minus 1 and minus 8. This is after rearranging to origin. Now from the origin we can rotate it along 90 degree counterclockwise. Step 2. Rotation. 
Now here the formula is x y that is tens. Uh, the formula will be minus y comma x. So we have x minus one, y as minus eight. Now what happens over here is this minus eight, right, will become positive eight, and over here this minus one becomes just minus one. So it will be minus one. Step three. This is not the final answer. We have done the rotation 90 degree clockwise, but it's about the origin, not about this point. So let's get back to the point. To get back to the point, it's plus five and back again, it's plus one, isn't it? So now we add the original point again back to this. So here it is now rotated. Whenever it's dilated or rotated or transformed, we put a dash. That is a prime, Q prime. So Q prime would is equivalent to 8 plus 5 comma minus 1 plus 1 this is the thing so what is q dash for q prime it's 8 plus 5 is 13 comma 0 why because minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so this is the point after 270 degree uh, clockwise rotation now let's look at this here is the original point right when you do 90 degree, it will come somewhere over here. Then another 180 degree over here, 270 somewhere over here. Okay, it will be up over here. Now 13 and 0. So over here, 13, x is 13 and y is 0. It's basically, yeah. Now I'm not doing it exactly, right? Really, you have to measure this distance and then rotate it. Oh, sorry. It's not about the center over here, about this point, right? So now look, this is the center. From here, it will be over here, here, and then over here. Yes, that makes uh, complete sense to rotate. But since we have found it technically, like from the formulas, that is the actual uh, actual rotation point. Or if you want, you can try using protractor and rulers as well, but it will take a long time to do that. So this is how we solve these problems. Here, the step one would be, you know, getting the point transformed to the center. That was basically subtracting phi and subtracting minus one, uh, subtracting one. Then what we do is we rearrange this towards 90 degrees, not 270. Use, we have to use the formula of 90 degree counterclockwise. That is minus y comma x. And then what we do is we add this back so that it is about this point, not about the origin. So it was 13 and 0. Yes, that is what we got. Similarly, over here as well, you can do it. I'll directly do it now, but you please do it in proper steps and methods. So now, what they have told us, JKLM is a parallelogram. The vertices are given over here. The, what are the coordinate of the image K if the parallelogram is rotated 270 degree counterclockwise? Okay, directly to use the formula x, y, this will be, uh, it will be y comma minus x now. For 90 degree, first is negative. For 270, second one is negative. About this particular point. So how we start is, we have to just look into the point K. 7. So over here, 7, but you need to add this. This time it's adding because the sign opposite to whatever is given. Comma, 1 plus 1. So this is the transform point towards origin. It will be 9, comma, 2. And now you use this formula. This is step 1. Step 2 will be swapping this. It will be 2, comma, minus 9. And now add this back again. But now this time it will be minus and minus 1, minus 2 and minus 1. So it will be 2, minus 2. And it'll be minus nine minus one. It'll be zero comma minus ten. So this must be the final answer. So this is how we solve them up. We can see zero and minus ten. So please do solve all these problems by yourselves. And now here, if you have to do it and uh, do it using protractor and ruler, see such problems are never generally asked in the exams. Um, since uh, a long time these are never come but anyways just to know if you have to rotate say this particular point k this diagram along this point k by 45 degrees so what you do is from each of these vertices you draw a line segment towards k okay that's the first thing now we'll start with one point and then you you see keep the protractor over here and measure 45 degrees now what happens is this is the base now whatever is that line 
imagine the line is like this you keep the protractor and measure right 45 degrees same way now this is the base this keep this over here around the center like this the protractor and then you measure like this 45 and get the point now whatever is um, just mark a 90 degree 45 degree line and whatever is this distance you cut it along there so just draw a straight line for now okay just extend that line and next one would be see what is this distance right see once you got that point measure this particular distance if say it is two centimeters draw a two centimeter line over here as well and then we get this transform g is transformed to g prime so this is the transform point now after this the same thing is repeated the same method is repeated for all the other vertices and you get something like this you can see the uh, the same thing is repeated and other points are obtained at 45 degrees only you have to do and that will be transformed now if you are rotating this entire image by 45 degree it's not 90 it's 45 right half of 90 so you can see it will be something yeah like this if you just map them that'll be the thing so all these distances will be same see now these distances generally if you measure they must be equal so the same concept can be applied to other problems as well here they have given you 210 degrees so same concept draw straight line join them you know measure 200 degree 210 degrees with protractor and then uh, use a ruler and solve it up now whatever we have mentioned is generally uh, always counterclockwise so about the it'll be counterclockwise and here you get the figure if you take it 210 degree counterclockwise like this from down and now we have another similar problem which we did a while ago x y with n points is given there are two points over here this is rotated 90 degree counterclockwise about minus 6,4 see such problems will come generally where you have to use the starting problems right two problems where you use the formula where you have to analyze these points these are most likely to come now you need to transform both the points so about this point right you can draw the figure and stuff but it's very straightforward if you understand the concept once 90 degree clockwise formula is x y that tends to minus y comma x that's the formula i will start with the point x over here it's three now we have to change the sign plus six and what about the next one it will be minus four so the value is nine minus three now rotate it along uh, around 90 degree clockwise over here is the formula it will be positive three and nine and now add them back the original points where it is rotated along so it will be three minus six comma nine minus four plus four over here so it will be negative three and we will have 13. so this is the first point x and the same thing you need to do it for y over here it'll be two plus six and minus two minus four and then we have eight and minus six and what happens is now swap it up it'll be plus six and eight and now add them back it'll be six minus six and eight plus four so here you will get zero and over here we will have 12 so that is the answer zero and 12 and the x point was minus 13 and so you can see over here minus 13 minus 3 and 13 0 and 12 and here they have told the damaged compass points northwest instead of north if you travel west by the compass what is your angle of rotation to the true north angle of rotation it's 40 um let's just look at the answer and understand so it's 45 degrees so rotating clockwise now here this is the broken compass right you are basically say from west from this compass west it will be this is the true north for the broken compass it will be 45 degrees that's what i understand so it's 45 degrees from year to year or 315 clockwise that means if you're going like this just do 360 minus 45 that will be uh, 315 degrees that will be counterclockwise but if you're going clockwise it's direct so that's the thing and over here circular dial with digit 0 through 9 evenly spaced around its edges rotated clockwise 36 degrees how many times would you have to perform this rotation in order to bring the dial back to its original position 
See, 0 to 9 evenly placed. 36 degree one time. So how many? It's a circle, right? So one time it's 36. Then again, it'll be 72 degrees and so on. It'll take 10 times, right? Because 10 times will give you 360 degrees. So the answer is 10 times. And under a rotation about the origin, the point phi comma minus one is mapped to the point a dash that is one comma phi. Okay, this is already transformed. They have told the rotation is done. What is the image of the point B minus four comma six under this rotation? So now let's just analyze this and this. So A is the original point. After it's transformed, it becomes A dash or A prime. It is phi and minus one and what is it over here after rotation it's one comma five let's see the relationship between them here i can see x became y so x and y this what happened is here uh this x is over here and y became minus y so how much is this this formula is for 90 degrees right so it is a 90 degree rotation and now what you can do over here is instead of 4 comma 6 because it's from origin you don't have any other point directly use the formula x comma y tends to minus y comma x that is for 90 degrees and it will be minus 6 comma 4 that is the answer oh sorry uh minus 4 that will be the answer you can see it's minus 6 and minus 4 that's the end of this topic just please be thorough with the formulas and remember the steps. So there are three steps. Please be thorough with it. Write and study these problems and then it will be easy for you guys.